Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, well, hello, how you doing? Welcome. You have just slipped and slotted and tumbled into the most fabulous place on YouTube and you don't even know it yet. Well, now that I have you here, I'm just gonna give you five seconds to go do what you do, subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam squad, and while you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always be notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that literal me, I need a little shine and shine and shine and shine and yeah. Uh, all of this winnings, yeah. So I need a little shine in this YouTube street. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I am so humbled at the amount of people that even watch me like, what? <laughs> I am so humbled. Thank you so much for coming back. Your love and your support is truly, truly appreciated. Today's video, I've been talking about this for a while. You know, over here, we love to smell like a Dubai princess an arabic princess a queen dubai queen you know we love that oil money but i decided today i'll do a video about rich auntie vibes you know i want to smell like a rich auntie just today because after today i am you know i'm forever 21 um i'm young i'm fun i'm playful um but i'm gonna be a rich auntie today and i came ready see with my feathers you know serving all this lusciousness and i have incredible fragrances in front of me that exude rich auntie so if you are an auntie and you want to give rich auntie vibes you want to smell like a rich auntie okay then stick around the first fragrance that exudes rich auntie what fragrance do you think that is i i feel like you know what that fragrance is if you want to smell like a rich auntie this is not just any rich auntie you know the the rich auntie that hangs out with the jeff Bezos and the max zuckerberg's wives that takes luxury trip to italy on the boat you know the auntie that loves to stop over in paris we oui, we oui, at the ms flagship store to pick up her what birkin 30 in ms gold gold hardware togo leather you know she may be she's rich i feel like togo leather is for us you know the brokies um she she may want to do you know some crocs you know the crocodile leather she may want to do some epsom leather you know but this is ujo intense by fragrance dubois this is rich auntie approved okay but one thing with this fragrance i don't think the siage is not huge but this is that auntie that is luxurious you know you only see her like maybe she will come for thanksgiving but she's flying in from italy she's flying in from paris or let's say she's coming from italy but after thanksgiving black friday she's on her way to paris because she does not do black friday shopping because um, that's where the broke people um she doesn't need a deal she is she is the deal okay oh this is rich auntie this has fruits a mix of fruits it then the pineapple is in there but it's a ripe pineapple you get jasmine you get ylang ylang you get orange blossom there's wood in here there's vanilla in here oh this is gorgeous this is one of my favorite fragrances but it is very soft it's very mellow it's just rich auntie this auntie doesn't she doesn't have time for your average joke because she's being taken around the world it's giving a private jet oh amazing for me i pick up the orange blossom and the jasmine and the hint of vanilla the oud here is very when i tell you very minimal very minimal but this is a lavish okay it's beautiful and it is rich auntie approved by me this is the next rich auntie vibes um, fragrance on my list this is this is a decant <laughs> it is a decant and um i think it will always be a decant because um it retails for um three thousand five hundred dollars 
you know, for you to be a rich auntie, you have to be rich, okay? You need to have coins. This is by Roger Dove. This is Roger Dove's Roger Hot Lux. <sighs> I, when I spray this, I'm very careful, okay? See, I'm like trying to get just a half a pump. It's not a half, I got it. <laughs> because this is a decan of a $3,500 fragrance. I am like giving it in drops. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me tell you what the notes are. You get top notes, you get bogamont. Middle notes, you get ylang ylang. Jasmine, of course, because when, when, when you want to smell like money, no kidding you need jasmine okay jasmine is the definition of opulent okay and you get rose de mar and then the base notes you get benzoin oak moss cloves cinnamon iris vanilla labdanum amber ginger patchouli amaris styrix vetiver and cedar it's a lot going on in the base, but when I tell you, this is stunning, but $3,500. Now, that's a lot. I am not willing to pay that. I gave this fragrance, what, $550? $550 or $650 max, um, because I ain't got it like that. But when I smell this, I think of Morocco. I'm thinking the auntie that flies in and out in the Middle East as well. So she's going to Dubai, she's going to Qatar, she's going, then she's going to hit Turkey. She's going to go to her, you know, Morocco. She's going to go to Egypt. You know, this is stunning. Such a beautiful scent. And this is for the auntie that really got it, okay? She is with the, big, the richest man in the world. That auntie is married to the CEO of LVMH, okay? So they got all the coins and, you know, $3,500 on the fragrance is like, that's like two cents, okay? Ah, oh, this is so good. If you have coins, cause um, I ain't got it. <laughs> I'm a rich auntie, but I ain't got it, okay? If you got it, cause I don't know what's in your bank account because um, some people got it, you know? If you got it and you wanna smell luxurious, I tell you you need to get your nose on hot lux roja hot lux because it is amazing it's the next fragrance on my rich auntie vibes list is a newbie in my collection that i have never talked about because it's it literally just like landed like today <laughs> i got a sample of this and when i tell you i'm like what this is sophistication in a bottle. The auntie that owns this does not take nonsense from anybody. If she comes over for Thanksgiving and you try to be slick, she is gone. And you guys won't see her for the next five Thanksgivings. This is Jump Up and Kiss Me by Clive Christian. Sharita made me get it. <laughs> The first person I heard talk about it was Pockets and Bows, um, Brittany. She talked about it like a year and a half or so ago. She was, then they had the 75 ml. She was saying that this was like, I think it was like 850 or $900. I'm like, girl, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then Sharita started talking about it. And I said, say no more. This and Guidance, went, it got to a point. I said, Sharita, say no more. I am going to the store. I went to Nima Marcus and I, Put my nose on this and the day that i smelt it when i tell you oh the automizer is exquisite did they this is gorgeous <laughs> i can't i stopped talking 550 for 50 ml that's what it retails for but when i tell you this is beautiful there's mandarin in the middle notes you get jasmine are you seeing where we're going with this jasmine? If you want to smell like a rich auntie, you need a fragrance with jasmine. And the base you're getting, I think there's leather in here, but you're also getting tonka bean. This is beautiful. And this is given wealth. It's given money. This is private jet. This is this is me. This looks like me. And this needs to be my scent of the day because it matches my outfit. Look at the top. I don't have silver hair. I have like light blue hair, but it's giving silver vibes. 
it's like a very very baby blue color at the top and i'm like oh this is my this should be my fragrance of the day what you think this auntie ah oh, she's not your average joe she don't mind staying single she just wants all the money but that is jump up and kiss me by clive christian the next fragrance on my rich auntie vibes list is are you ready it's also another newbie in my collection and i am gagging when i tell you this is by the harmonist and this is moon glory i finally got something from the harmonist i have been wanting something from them for the longest i smelled yin transformation because i think erin nicole talked about it but i smelled it it didn't do anything for me and when i was sniffing she when she asked me what kind of fragrances do you like and i told her she's like i got something for you and she sprayed this the automizer is so different it's not my favorite it doesn't spray out it sprays at one particular area it's not my favorite automizer but when she sprayed this and gave this to me i was like oh, this is beautiful this has honey there's honey at the top you get jasmine <laughs> jasmine is in here and this is exquisite i love this it feels icy too like the moon to be honest there's something icy about it this is that this is that rich auntie that loves to give hugs when she comes through she buys gifts for everyone and then she just you just want to hug on her because she's the sweetest auntie and i think is the honey honey you know what if you love honey and you're a jasmine lover like i am you would love this this is a lavish auntie that pulls through in her luxury car and will definitely get you a gift when she comes through but oh this is beautiful very stunning amazing so if you want to smell like a rich auntie you need to get your nose on moon glory by the harmonist the next rich auntie vibes fragrance on my list is this is a very this is the auntie that um everybody likes she doesn't do too much she you know she's very mellow very fluid you know <clears throat> goes both ways but um that's gentle fluidity gold this is the auntie that loves silent um luxury that doesn't like a uh, monogram print she is that quiet luxury kind of auntie she loves celine i see her with her celine bag uh this is a rich auntie she is gorgeous in here this is a vanilla you get vanilla you get juniper berries but the juniper berries here i feel in the silver you smell more of the juniper berries but here it is just so beautiful this is stunning you know what i as i smelt it i just remembered that i haven't been reaching for it as much and i need to bring it out because this fragrance is truly beautiful it is very beautiful the name matches it perfectly it just flows so beautifully this is the auntie that has she she doesn't have any problems she has no man problems she is so calm so gentle and she is spoiled like rotten she's so spoiled she goes to london she you know she just travels always on a boat somewhere just relaxing she lives a very relaxed life and she has zero stress and that is gentle fluidity gold by francisco jean the next rich auntie vibe fragrance on my list this is giving rich auntie now this auntie she is a dubai auntie and this auntie is luxurious she is fabulous she goes from dubai to qatar to turkey she is lavish when i mean lavish i mean lavish and that is ombre nomad by louis vuitton this is the auntie that is always in dubai she's always in qatar here you're getting oud you're getting rose but the rose to me is a bit minimal there's saffron oh my god this is stunning you get incense you you, you have oud you have incense you have rose and this is a lavish auntie this is the auntie that when when she's coming 
this fragrance goes before her. So she did not tell anybody that this is the auntie that will not tell you she's coming, but you start to smell her as she's coming. This has oud. You're getting incense. You're getting rose in here. You're getting saffron. This is elegance in a bottle. If you want to smell like a rich oil well auntie, and this is unisex, so for the guys too, but if you want to smell like a rich oil well auntie, you need to get this. If you feel like this is too funky for you, if you feel it's too strong or the oud is too much, try this with Fenty Other Perfume by Rihanna. That one has the blueberries in it. There's blueberries. You get geranium. You get rose. And there's incense paired with this. Everything. Or Intense Cafe by Montal. Because that's a jammy rose. Everything. So that is Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. The next fragrance on my Rich Auntie Vibes list is from a house that I've been obsessed with <laughs> lately. That is from the House of Amouage. This is Portrayal Woman. Portrayal Woman is the woman you need to become. This is Jasmine. Jasmine is the note you need to smell like a lavish woman. If a fragrance has Jasmine, it's going to hit. This is Jasmine. And then you get in Tobacco. Then there's vanilla, which gives it some sweetness. And then you get elemin. What's in here? What is in here? This is stunning. This smells so lavish, but then the tobacco gives it an edge. This auntie does not take nonsense. <laughs> She's not the gentle fluidity gold auntie. She is lavish. She wants you to know she is here. She loves luxury. She loves the finer things in life. This is a Chanel rocking auntie. This is a Dior loving auntie. She is gorgeous. This is my favorite amouage so far that I've smelled. This is everything. If you love Jasmine like I do, because Jasmine is like right now, I would say right now is my favorite note. Amber and Amber, Oud and Rose are like as always. Amber's always been my favorite note and then Rose and Oud. But Jasmine right now was like number four is like number one <laughs> right now. Every fragrance I've been buying has Jasmine. This is Rich Auntie Everywhere. It retails for $360 or is it $370? But when I tell you it is worth every droplet in here, this is one of my favorite purchases this year, if not my favorite. I am in love with Portrayal Woman. The next fragrance on my Rich Auntie Vibes list is, you know I can't do a video without this fragrance. So far, I haven't mentioned any Zerja. <laughs> I'm doing good, right? This is Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Ma. This is Rose. It's incense. It's sprayed on my hand. I need to put it on my outfit then. Ah, uh, one of the greatest fragrances ever created, in my opinion. This is Rose and Incense Bomb. This is a Dubai queen, an Arabian princess. She goes to Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. She goes to Turkey. She has, her house is like white and gold. She has gold aesthetics, you know, 24 karat gold toilet seats. That's the kind of auntie this is. This is rich. It is lavish. This is one of the greatest fragrances, in my opinion, ever. 10 out of 10 masterpiece. If you do not own Portrait of a Lady, I don't know what you do. You need to sample before you buy because it's not crowd-pleasing. It's rose and incense. So if you like rose and oud vibes, you would love it. But this is stunning. And I recommend, you know, this is one of my favorite fragrances ever. And I love it. If I ever do 10 for life, I don't know how I would do that. But this would definitely be on the list. And this is Rich Auntie Vibes all the way. The next fragrance on my Rich Auntie Vibes list is, this is another, this is a cheapie. I feel like, you know, this is for the auntie that 
wants to smell very expensive. You know, she's still working her way through life like we all are. And, but this is such a stunning fragrance. I wanted to do a list that included one fragrance that I felt like was affordable. This is giving Dubai. Straight up Dubai. Dubai Mall. This auntie goes to Dubai and back. She may slip and slide into Qatar, but this is ah, this is so good. If you love Oud Satin Mood by MFK, you would definitely love this. And this is Seha Sheila from Swiss Arabia. So it's always good. It's not all the time that your auntie has all the coins and she wants to spend all the money. Sometimes your auntie's like me. She's trying to save. She ain't got all the money. So she wants to smell luxurious and fabulous. And yeah, she wants to smell rich, okay? And that's me. Oh, yes. This is stunning. If you love rose and oud, you would love this. This is straight up rose and oud. And it has sweetness in here. If you love like Oud Satin Mood, you would love this. If you love Rose de Arabi by Amani Privier, you would love this. If you love More Than Words by Zerzhov, you would love this. This is beautiful. This is Rich Auntie Vibes approved. And this, I think you can get for like $80. $80, you're smelling like the richest auntie. And I think that this is stunning. And you definitely need to get your nose on if you love if you're a rose and oud lover like I am. This is beautiful. And that's Seha Sheila by Swiss Arabia. The last two fragrances on my list are from my favorite house. And I decided to use to show both of them together because um why not? They're both from Zerjov, okay? The first one I talk about a lot, and this is a Cento overdose. This here, you get aldehydes, you get fruits first. You get fruits, you're getting jasmine. Are we say by this time? If you don't know that jasmine is what makes you smell rich, jasmine and saffron and oud with rose, then I don't know what to tell you. And then you get pine in here, and I think aldehyde. This I always say is Jeff Bezos' wife. You know, the lady that owns this, you know, she she would stop by a mess to get her quarter bag. She would go to Chanel, but she likes to shop in Paris. Oui, oui. She's always in Paris. The auntie is just rich, okay? She has her Chanel Jumbo um, classic flap. She has Kelly. Oh, my gosh. This is gorgeous. That's a Cento overdose from Zerzhov. This is rich anti to the mass. Now, the second one from Zerzhov is called 40 Knots. This is that anti that is married to the owner of a luxury yacht. Here, you know, for Join the Club collection, Zerzhov doesn't release um, the notes. So here, I've, I've read that there's cedar in here. There's like salt. It's like water. So you get water vibes in here. This smells like... A luxurious yacht the auntie that wears this loves to travel she loves to vacation she's always on a boat she doesn't do cruise her cruise is the luxury yacht so she's not on like carnival and on Norwegian like not the regular cruise that we do she's on her husband's um, or her yacht okay this is gorgeous this is a masterpiece if you have never gotten your nose on 40 knots by Zerzhov, you need to. This is exquisite. 10 out of 10 perfumery in here. This is so good. It's unisex, so the men can wear it. But this auntie that wears this is lavish. This smells like money. What? But this is like, you know, this oil money is like Louis Vuitton. This is water money. <laughs> vessel. They have vessel companies. The people that own and run vessels, that's what that's what they wear. This is 40 Knots by Zerjov. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. Now, I did have some fragrances that didn't make the cuts, but they're honorable mention. I can just talk about them quickly. And the first one is Passion de l'Amour from the House of Sillage. This is a really gorgeous raspberry oud scent. It gives you that oud satin mood vibes. So if you like oud satin mood, you would love this. If you love Seha Sheila, you would love this. But this is a really gorgeous, um, rich uh, anti vibe. Another one is um, Overture from Amouage. This is a really gorgeous 
boozy scent. So it's that auntie that likes to get drunk. <laughs> a rich auntie that would drink. She would drink um, 1942 Classy Azure Auntie. And this is everything. So it also gives me rich auntie vibes. And the last one I think is Alexandria 2 from the House of Zerja. And this is stunning. It's like it's oud. This gives you that oud vibe. So these are the three honorable mentions that didn't quite make the cut but i still wanted to touch on them but that's it guys and remember in all things add glitter whenever you're in doubt add more glitter and when all else fails remember you don't have to spend a lot of money to be a rich auntie, okay? You can still smell fabulous on a budget, $20, $30, $50, and you smell like a rich auntie. But when all else fails, make sure in all things you're a good auntie, you know, you're a kind auntie. At the end of the day, it doesn't make sense to smell like a rich auntie and you have a funky attitude. So be nice to your nieces and nephews, okay? And add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later.